Yeah. So if you can record this, ten dollars. It's literally f***ing bright. So now we're just gonna install it on my bike. Look at Freddy. <laughs> I'm gonna do it right here. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Block Fam? Today is an exciting day in the shop because we got Greg, we got Chris. Talking. Nobody gives I know. a f no, We're all at the shop today. We Did got you even ask so if you could record this? Ten dollars. You're not allowed to record me. Turn it off. You better tone it down. Just trying to hang with my friends in the shop. You know what I mean? We got Freddie Rods, Eric Bagger, bro. Hi, Viz Greg. Mr. Chris Equal Glide. We are gonna compare two headlights. We got. The Baja Designs LP6, and we got uh, Amazon eBay Special. <laughs> and so, like I was saying, I we're gonna be it's gonna be an exciting day. <laughs> I don't know where it got cut off, but yeah, we're comparing the Baja Designs LP6 and the eBay <laughs> Amazon Special. Eric, stop around with the horn. <laughs> oh, I'm I mean, you know this is the best, but does this it really it. matter? So this was how much? $24. And I forgot how much these are. I want to say between four or $500. I'll pop the price on the screen right here. I or mean, this. sheesh. Let's find out. It's a big price difference. Let's go ahead and lay these lights next to each other. I mean, you can see the difference, right? On this, seven inches for any of those brackets. But you can see the difference on like the width on it. It's literally almost. I know thicker's better. This is heavier, for sure. Right. This, right. I mean, you can feel <laughs> by the looks of it. You could you could tell that is is meant for a affordable setup. Let's put it that way. <laughs> These will come with the brackets and the the connections for I guess the application. You need to splice these up and make it your own, which. If you know how to do that, of course, or you don't know, want to do splicing and cables, some people don't. So, so the LP6 says it has a total of 11,225 lumens and a 200 degree spread of usable LED. It also says that the LP6 is a 5,000K daylight for the color. I don't think we found a lumen. So no documented lumens for this? No, this one just says the type of uh, color temp and it's a 6500K um, light. I mean, you can see in the LP6, right? All these vents, this light does get hot and having all these vent points, especially on the motorcycle falling through versus this one is just case. <laughs> I mean, you could tell that this is meant to mount on a truck somewhere not as a headlight that you could kind of see through the hole for ventilation. We are not testing them on the bike. We're literally no, just- No, hell no, why the f did we do that? <laughs> We're gonna do it right here, <laughs> See? Whoa! No, Baja Designs have it um, the setting for high beam, low beam, and your backlight. This just has backlight and light on. So three cables versus four. You want this in the motorcycle, not this, right? I feel like we can't talk too much about that, right? Like it's still not bad. You're putting it on the No, I mean, be... so my project with that is putting it on the ground. If the application that you're using fits for your needs, then sure. This is meant to be a spotlight on a truck. Anything? Well, this is too. And these are too, but with the high beam, low beam option. So the circuit on this is meant to be on anything. This is not road legal. No. This is not DOT approved. None that of them. one is not either. No, none that of them are. Isn't. It's so funny when Baja okay. Designs posted that there's a DOT. that there's a DOT version, and everybody was like, didn't realize that this <laughs> one wasn't. But yes, that is an off-road light. So this. we'll test it. We'll turn the light off so we can take a look at it. Even though it just make it bright as. F All right, so that's a low beam. It's gonna cure. So you go, and then high beam. So you can see like the difference. I didn't really see it. I okay. didn't either. It's literally f***ing bright so, either way. So on the high beam, you have all six lights lit up. Yeah. And then on the low beam, only the two bottom ones are lit up plus the sides. Right. That's the difference. So you can see that a little bit in the camera. It's definitely yeah. hard. I gotta roll, guys. All right, bye. All right. And yeah. it's really hard to tell, obviously, like, pointing the camera at the light or looking at the wall, but... And then if we're looking at the cheapo version, putting this to the amber, so that's the running light-ish amber, whatever. So that 
The other light gives you the uh, it gives you amber this. lights on the sides. Yeah, it gives you this kind of similar to this, but then this one only has three connections, so it's either this, this, so you see how it has nine LEDs plus the side, right. so it's just an on and off, or you could do like the hybrid, and then you have both of them on, and it looks kind of like this. Right. So it's kind of like, oh, okay. If you're wiring the headlight yourself, you kind of pick and choose how you want that to work. With the eBay headlight, do you want the yellow lights as the high beam? Do you want, so like you light, can flip it. Yeah, flip so, it. so in my application, I'm putting this in my ground. I'm gonna put it as a daylight running the amber. And when I need the light at night, plug it right. in, and I, I probably have to angle it to the floor so I'm not blinding right. cars or somebody in front of me. Or you or, could do it vice versa and you can have it where the white light is correct. your headlight and then the high beam just activates the yellow sides. Yeah. With the LP6, you have it like you've seen it in every other Harley out there, which is low beam, high beam, and the color that you could choose for the background right. amber light. With my soft tail, is it does have a high beam, low beam, auxiliary light and the ground. So it is four wires. So I think we can pretty much wire it. We could wire it that way. As far as a comparison, do you want to put something that you have a bracket for this and you know it's going to work and this is the application? We could put this on the on the bike, but you saw the, the, what it is. It's on and off. It's going to give you output, a light, but is it going to give the right. output that this is going to give? Right? And like Freddie was saying, it depends on the application. We're literally just comparing the both. I mean, obviously, we're going to put the LP6 on my bike. I'm going to go with the LP6. He is planning on putting one on his Grom, and so obviously he doesn't want to spend the money and put an LP6 on his Grom. I mean, people have done that, but for the price, it's like, why not put that on? It is still bright, and so that'll work. So it really depends on the application. Both are very bright lights, but you just can't deny the quality and the build when yeah. it comes to the this, Baja design. This right here, I've never seen one up close and you could tell this right. is the light you want on your bike. And I don't have a bike here, but we've had a few customers come here with these lights on there. I've seen some road glides with this setup where it says LED on the bottom. I've seen a few people on road glides running that. So it really just depends on who you are, what your budget is and, and all that, because not only does it cost money to get the lights, they sell wiring harnesses. You also need the mounting bracket. So keep in mind, those are additional costs. And if you're not gonna do it yourself, then you have cost and labor. Right, because most of these, you're taking your fairings off. Most people don't like taking the bike apart. And I'm pretty sure when we get to the point of putting it on my bike, I think we also have to modify my Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing too to make the LP6 work, but that's all a part of it. Right. So we're gonna take the LP6 and we're just gonna put that on my bike. Again, this isn't a how-to video, but we just want to show you guys both of these headlights. And if you see the, the eBay one on picture, it kind of looks like the LP6. Mm -hmm. But when you have them in your hand and you're like looking at them in person, it's totally different. Now we're just gonna install it on my bike. All right, we just got the light plugged and wired up. So turning it on. I know it's always bright, guys, to have it on, but so we got the yellow. See that again there? That daytime running light with the low beam. Flip it on. We got high beam. And these Baja lights are no joke, because look at Freddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the side, and, and this is putting this, this Ooh, right here, look at that. Sheesh. It's gonna look good. Now that it's dark enough, we're gonna show you guys what it looks like kind of uh, outside at night. Here's off, here's on, and then here is bright. Low beam, high beam, low beam, off. All right, cool. There it is, guys. We got it mounted on my bike. And again, like I said, this wasn't a how-to video. Some of you guys might be like, why didn't you mount both of the lights and then test it? And honestly, with the brackets we got, they wouldn't have worked with the eBay version. And so they all worked with the Baja Designs LP6. I think that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. The main thing was comparing the LP6 with the eBay one. In the pictures, it looks like they're the same, but then when you actually physically get them in person, the eBay one is extremely smaller, and then the LP6 one is way beefier. I think at the end of the day, you pay for what you get, right? You rather spend the money with everything versus a headache of using the eBay one, trying to fabricate something for it, doesn't fit. I mean, even after you put it on, how long is it gonna last versus you have warranty up with this one. Very good point because a lot of brands are making brackets and wiring harnesses for the LP6 versus the 
other one, you're kind of just gonna have to do a bunch of custom work to make it work. Yeah, I think it looks really sick. I know a lot of people like a flush mount into the fairing, but I actually like that it comes out a little bit just because I want these side lights to also creep out rather than it being flush with the fairing. But again, personal preference for everyone. I think it looks sick. One little, one little click on. Sheesh. The camera doesn't do these lights justice because if I go lower, it's just gonna be bright but yeah that little honeycomb effect with that yellow light is sick if you guys want this kind of lighting and want to book service with us or anything else and you want to do like performance stuff which is mainly what we focus on we got road glides and baggers everywhere and a bunch of motor work and performance but we also can install these lights for you if you want. Go to blockheadgarage.com, fill out the form, that'll put you in touch with me, and then we'll talk about getting you on the schedule, what parts we need, and all that. I won't be working on your bike, Freddie won't be working on your bike, it'll be Chris, who is, I think, what, 27 years master tech now at this point. But um, yeah, blockheadgarage.com if you want to book service with us. Did you know we're giving it away? Oh yeah, that's another one. Oh yeah, good call. <laughs> Head to blockheadmoto.com, sign up, select the tier, and you're entered to win the Sucker Punch Salary, which was also owned by the Rev from the Reverend Horn Heat. Lots of other perks to it, early access to videos, access to our private Discord, discounts and merch and more. So again, blockheadmoto.com if you wanna sign up and be entered to win that bike. That's it, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video was cool or you liked it. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Make sure you guys go follow Freddy at Freddy Rods. He helped a ton on this. I barely did anything. Also, follow Chris at Sick Wide Glide because he also helped earlier before he left. And also follow Blockhead, guys. This is his channel, Blockhead Moto. Follow him on Instagram. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel so you can see more of all of us hanging out, doing motorcycle stuff. And again, I hope this video helped you guys for those who have been looking at the eBay version versus the LP6. What your thoughts are. If you have any questions, comment below. Ask for Freddy. He'll probably know more about it than I. And, um, and he's in the comments too, so make sure you know ask your questions down there. That's it, ride safe, stay vigilant. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.